Good morning. This is Thursday, December the 1st, 2022, and it's about not quite 9 o'clock yet. This looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. It was supposed to have been 38 degrees last night, but it was 30 when we got up, so it was colder than we thought it was going to be. But my pansies are still fine. I'm going to go to North Charleston today to have lunch with my friends. Lunch. This is where Jane and Judy wanted to go. I came early so I could shop, so I've been over there to the mall shopping. Found a nice Christmas present. So I'll just sit here and wait now until they come. I brought a book with me. Uh, well, the drink is the drink yeah. is marvelous. Well, we're yeah, the drink's always we're going to share that. There's Judy there. And here's Jane. Mm. Her hair is getting long. Yeah. Look at uh -huh. there. Yeah. Hang swishing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, after a while. Now he's on his way to the doctor. We think he's got a sinus infection. I'm back here at the doctor's office. Um, Larry was here earlier, so he's been gone about an hour. And I just brought Betty over so she can get her blood tested and thickness again. And then I'll have to come Monday and get my blood drawn for my cholesterol. This is Saturday and the men have been here working, getting the set ready for the live nativity. And uh, now they're having lunch, so I made some uh, corn muffins and some brownies and brought in and the other ladies are making soup. So, looks like they've, those, ha those panels are big and heavy, so it's hard work doing it. It's Sunday morning, and I'm here for Sunday school. Justin and Steffi are here. They're going to borrow, a, they want to split some wood, so they're going to borrow a log splitter. Of course, Bentley's on the golf cart with Grandpa. Well, they got it loaded. They just pushed it up on them, up on there themselves. Yeah, go pick up a pine cone for him. That's just a loose there. That's Bentley got a haircut. <laughs> Squeeze it tight. Oh, he's going to pick up two at a time. Just pick up one. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you must have let go. You got to keep it squeezed. That's it. Just hold tight. Where's the bucket? Right here. Oh, Grandpa's got nails in the bucket. Thank you. All right, boy. I got a good job next time you come over here. We're here at Walmart. I had to pick up a few things we were out of. Not so much food, it's just odds and ends. That, as you can see, I got a little elf helping. <laughs> I didn't even have to help her off the floor. Well, she got it. At least this year. Maybe next year you might have to help me. Well, one year at a time. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Thursday, December the 8th. I want to see how George does with the little chickens. Going to let them out. Here comes Laverne and Shirley. But George is more concerned with eating chicken food than he is with paying any attention to the Laverne and Shirley. Concerned. 
Well, you want to try letting the little chickens out with the big chickens? You think I it's guess. time yet? Might as well. They're probably more of a problem than George will be. I think so. Well, we let uh, Laverne and Shirley out with the big chickens, except the big chickens aren't here yet. We'll find a little corn there. It looks like uh, George prefers chicken feed to kitten food. And Laverne and Shirley are here outside the, the pen just doing their chicken thing. Yeah, they're getting no. a little further away. Well, there's Lucy came. There's Lucy came, but she's not paying attention to, to them. Run. That's all there is to it. Come on, they're all here together now. <laughs> I'll throw a little more corn. Let them get socialized. Yeah, George is eating chicken food. Ah, Lucy. <laughs> they won't go in the pen with George there either. Uh -uh. Mm. Well, they seem to be getting along. Guy, such a pretty blue today. You got it. Ooh. Finally. I think Ethel's finally done. Too late. Everything's gone, Ethel. I guess I ought to give her a little corn. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit of oats over here, it looks like. Yeah. Let's check the nest and see if there's anything in it. Oh, there's two eggs. Must be Lucy and Ethel both. Yeah. Well, we're in the greenhouse. Everything's going pretty good. Laura's picking some lettuce for dinner. And probably has some spinach to go with it and we pick. We picked a good sized bell pepper yesterday. Are you gonna have lettuce too? Yeah, the tomatoes are looking pretty good. They're getting flowers on them. So I needed some the other day and forgot that I had this out uh, here. Laura picked some basil to go with the lettuce and the spinach. I'm here at Betty's. This is Thursday the 8th, and her daughter Leslie's coming tomorrow. So we're trying to get things looking pretty. So we got the wreaths up and the... Uh, Icicle lights up there on the porch and a wreath on the door. 
then we got the tree up. We got Betty's Christmas tree up and decorated. But she'll fine tune it and make it just right. This is just what we got on there now. And then she's got uh, a little tree here on her table with some angels. Justin and Steffi stopped for a short visit. Always good to see them. Steffi gave us some pecans the other day. I think it was Thanksgiving. And so Larry's cracking them. I'll pick them out. And then we'll make something good out of them. It's 7.45 on Saturday morning. I guess this is the 10th. And we're here in Somerville. Um, when Betty was having lunch yesterday with Leslie at Cracker Barrel, she lost a filling. And so this is the only dentist she could find that was open on Saturday. She's calling all around and somebody recommended, so she's able to come in here before they open to see if they can fix it. It's Sunday morning and I came to church early to change the flowers on uh, the graves to put, take off the October and add more Christmas. We caught a possum last night. We got to thinking George has eaten an awful lot of food, so we locked him in the cabana so and nothing could get into it to, eat, to get his food. Larry reinforced the bottom of the door. And so then we set the trap and we have a nice healthy possum. It's probably full of kitten food. I think it's about 44. It's about seven o'clock. He came back with us. We're walking to the house, but there's how Larry put a board across the bottom where the screen was coming loose. And he put another board out here on this side. And so it's reinforced and George couldn't get out during night. So this is the first morning that he's had food left. It wasn't all gone. Yeah, he's feeling frisky. He just had his breakfast. Chickens are all out. George is having a little drink of water, chicken water. Now he's back there giving them cracked corn. And he's going to let Laverne and Shirley out and give them a little bit right here. I guess George is ready to come back out. Come on. Come on, George. Well, oh, have another drink. <laughs> I guess there's just something about the taste of chicken water that just can't be beat. And there's one last look at the chickens. Where'd the little ones go? The little ones are over here eating. Not so little anymore. Oh, there goes Lucy. Maybe she'll go lay an egg. Did you check for eggs? No. They're too early. Hmm. No, she wants their food. Oh, well, she wants some of their corn. We had something else get in our bird feed last night. We don't know if it's a squirrel or maybe a raccoon or a possum, but it's got to be something that can climb up there. But we, we've seen squirrels in the, out by the fence, but we haven't had them here at the bird feeder for quite a while, a couple years. And Larry doesn't think it's a squirrel because they don't come out at night. More likely a possum or a raccoon. The possum is playing possum. Well, we're back here by the swamp again, ready to turn loose another critter. The 
if he turns around. Yeah, let me go this way. Mal is scaring. Here we go. Go, go. Go, turn. The door's open. There, he turned around. There. Finally. It was off into the woods. This road is so muddy and bad, we got to back up all the way. Found the place good enough to turn around. I needed some potatoes for my pot pie that I'm making, so Larry got me a couple out of the greenhouse growing, so now I have potatoes. That's nice to just be able to go out there and get what you need. My chicken pot pie is done. I'm going to have it for lunch. I just make a half of one because there's just the two of us. Well, it looks like it turned out pretty good. We eat every bit of it. Larry picked the cabbage for our supper. This is one that was growing in the pot. And there was a, more big leaves on it that he already took off and gave to the chickens. This is Tuesday, December the 13th, and I'm finally getting around to working on my Christmas cards. This is Wednesday, December the 14th, and we're on our way to the live nativity, but there's a light misty rain and it might get canceled. We're not sure yet. We're not in the, the play or any of it, but we're just helping in the kitchen to feed the players afterwards. Now, here's the food table. There's muffins and crackers and all kinds of chili. It's good. Yeah, everybody that's in the play is back. Having soup. What a spoiled child. He was. Laura, Pam said let's go home. All those taxes we paid in let's go home. We don't get. Oh, God. Because... Well, the nativity is over and we're on our way home. Everybody had a good amount of food and they said that the production was really good, great, <laughs> even in spite of the rain. I guess it was just light rain. Anyway, they went ahead and did it and had a lot of people there and it just went fine. So everybody was happy. I just finished making brownies to take to church tonight. These just came out of the oven. This is uh, Thursday, the 15th of December, and we got our second possum for the week. I'm playing possum again. And I'm making three little meatloaves for our lunch in the freeze. I used a pound of hamburger. Well, the meatloaf's done. And the potatoes are fried in bacon grease. I don't know if you can see him, but George is on top of the roof of the chicken pen. He was up there yesterday, and Larry went up on the ladder and rescued him. But he said he's going to have to find his own way, da way down now. Larry's going back to check on George. He's still up there. We got a board down to make him a ramp down. Hey, kitty, come over to the board. Come on. Come on, George. Come on. Come on. Come on over. Come in, George. Oh, he's coming. Come here. George. He's right there. He acts like he's going to catch it. Huh? He's acting like he's going to jump at it. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty.
thing is really coming down now. We have a waterfall. Well, George just came down board. I couldn't get the camera turned on in time. George was up under, up on the roof during that rain when it was so hard. So it looks like he stayed pretty dry. Yeah, looks like he stayed pretty dry. I wish I could have got him coming down the board. Maybe next time. Now that George came down the board we put up there for him, we won't have to worry about him climbing up on the roof anymore. He'll have a way down. Our spinach is looking good. It's time to make another salad, I think. Look what's in our backyard. Wow, I've never seen one in here before. It's a, it's a blue herring. It's a blue herring. Must be the one that lives down by the church. What if he wants cat food? dishwasher running at you here. Tonight's the second night of three for the live nativity, so I made chicken noodle soup to take. Probably can't see, it's late. Well, that's, it was too wet to let the possum out in the uh, in the swamp, so we brought him down here to the park. This way there's a walking trail. And he's awake. Go, 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 go. Here, go, go, go. There he goes. <laughs> he go into the truck. <laughs> I think he went into the truck. Maybe you'll keep on going. <laughs> we need no spoon. Okay. Well, let me hold her. Let me hold her. Good night. God bless.